Good afternoon. That is it for us. 2021 is done. Everything is seeded. This was my last 130 acres or whatever. It's peas. I just topped out. I took the rollers out. So we were seeding peas and canola together. These little uh, fine rollers are for the canola seed. These bigger ones are for the fertilizer and the peas. So I took them out. I dumped out the last little bit of seed that was in there. May as well do it in the field and as opposed to in the yard where we know it ain't gonna grow. Uh, dumped out the uh, <clears throat> dumped out the fill auger, cleaned out the tanks. So now all I gotta do is hop in the tractor, drive to the approach, wing this thing up, and that is it for the year. All right, so I got everything back there cleaned out. I'm just headed back to the approach here now. I'm gonna wing up the drill for the, uh, really for the last time this year. Take it back to the yard, <clears throat> get it stretched out. We, uh, we never get too excited about putting the drill away for a week or so. Uh, it is early enough, so it's what? It's May 14th, I believe. That's not the earliest we've ever finished but it's pretty close. I think one year we finished on the 10th of May. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can have happen <laughs> towards the end of May. You can get a hard frost, you can get all sorts of things. So we're not gonna clean up the seeding equipment yet. We're gonna uh, get it parked in the yard out of the way. There's some maintenance things to do on it for sure. We gotta check it over and make sure it's ready for next year. And uh, we'll leave it out in case, you know, the worst should happen and we have to reseed some, uh, you know, if something freezes or the bugs get too bad at the uh, at whatever you might you may end up reseeding. So we don't seed on our farm much into June. We basically call the fifth of June our cutoff. We won't seed past then. Up until then, though, we will maybe seed some barley or some peas. So if we have a if we have some some disaster from from now, you know, basically in the next two weeks, we do have time to reseed some peas, reseed some barley, but. That's gonna be it for me today. Uh, we've been uh, really only 16 days, I guess, at seeding. Uh, we, we've had really good weather. We haven't had to stop very often, so everybody's getting tired. Everybody's dusty, which is a good thing because for once we actually seeded into uh, decent conditions. And uh, so everybody needs to uh, Everybody needs to take a break, so we're probably going to, it is Saturday, get the equipment home, get it parked, and uh, have an early night. So to everybody who uh, stuck with us this spring, thank you. Uh, I didn't realize this is the first year I did the uh, YouTube videos during the spring, and I didn't realize actually how difficult it was to get footage worthwhile shooting I guess uh, it's quite difficult to do if you're uh, trying to also do all the work and up here in northern Alberta this year is an exception but normally we're under a pretty pretty aggressive time crunch it stays wet early into the spring or late into the spring I should say so early, early May it's still pretty wet still pretty cold so a guy doesn't really get out there and start seeding uh, then you end up with a you know a week of rain in there somewhere and uh, Really, you only get 16 days to see 2,500 acres if you're uh, <clears throat> if you're getting at it. So if you lose 20 days in May to something else, then that puts you into June. So we don't spend a lot of time dallying around and putting cameras here and there and everything else, but 